Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brian with Some Men's Comics in collaboration with ComicBookInvest.com and welcome to 2019. In this video, I'm going to give you my weekly picks for new comics that are coming out January 2nd. A lot of great comics coming out. And if you're a fan of Conan, we got a brand new Conan series. But without saying too much, let's get into the video. Kicking off the week, we have Action Comics number 1006. The Red Cloud sets her sights on someone close to Superman, but how can the Man of Steel stop a villain he can't touch? They have a regular cover by Ryan Sook. There's also a regular price variant by Francis Manipold. Bad Girl number 30. Politics get personal as the race for Congress in Gotham City heats up, leading to civil unrest in Barbara's new neighborhood as a new villain begins to make themselves known. We have a regular cover by Paul Pelletier. There's also a regular price variant by Joshua Middleton. A lot of people aren't seeming to like it, but I like the Middleton cover, so that's the one I'll be picking up. Detective Comics number 995. Someone is hunting those closest to Batman, and good thing he's on his way to Arkham Asylum, but will he investigate a murder, or is he going to get incarcerated in a padded cell? We have a regular cover. There's also a regular price variant by Mark Brooks. I love the Brooks cover for this. Flash number 61. Powerhouse looks to turn the Scarlet Speedster into a Scarlet Skidmark. The two force wielders find themselves at odds when Alexa wants to overthrow the criminal government of Cordo Maltese that's crushing her people. We have a regular cover by David Yarden. There's also a regular price variant by Derek Chu. Heroes in Crisis number four. This has been a fantastic series. Really looking forward to picking up this issue. This is gonna have a regular cover by Trevor Hairsign. There's also a regular price variant by Ryan Sook. I'll be picking up the regular cover for this. Injustice vs. Masters of the Universe number 6. He-Man is beset on all sides by enemies and allies alike. If he helps Superman use the Nexus, he may save Earth from ever falling to injustice. But Skeletor has a marvelous trick up his sleeve, and the battle rages, but who will prevail? Justice League Odyssey number 4. In this issue, we go to a planet that worships Cyborg and meets a population that's obsessed with body modification in preparation for a galactic war. We have a regular cover. There's also a regular price variant by Terry Dotson. I'm going with the regular cover. Old Lady Harley number three. Harley's barely managed to escape from Gotham City, but going down the river to Bloodhaven might have been an even bigger mistake. The whole city is a prison held in the grip of the bloodthirsty Bane twins. Titans number 32. This issue is going to give us the origin of Mother Blood. It's going to have a regular Clayton Henry cover, as well as a regular price variant by Philip Tan. Wonder Woman number 61, a furious Aphrodite holds Steve Trevor captive in the middle of a war zone and tries to convince him love is dead. Meanwhile, Diana, the object of his affection, gets trapped in the bombed out capital where she finds the remains of the local government and uses our diplomatic prowess to convince them to end the conflict. We have a regular cover by Terry and Rachel Dotson. There's also a regular price variant by Jenny Friesen. I like both covers, but I usually always pick up the Friesen. Crowded number six, this is the end of the story arc, trapped with the psychopathic streaming superstar Trotter on one side, and all of Los Angeles carrying a weapon and a two million dollar dream on the other, Charlie and Vita have only each other, and a few of the secrets they've been keeping from each other to rely on for their survival. We have a regular Rose Stein cover, there's also a regular price variant by Naomi Frankwitz. Redneck number 18, this is the end of the story arc, and the solicit says that everyone dies and no one is safe. If you're a fan of Donny Cates and you aren't reading this book, you really need to start. Walking Dead number 187. This is the road back. Can Rick Grimes bring peace to the Commonwealth or will he tear it apart? Champions volume three number one. That's it. The champions have gone global. The team has seen explosive growth under Miss Marvel's leadership with super powered members ready to answer the call in a dozen different countries. This is going to have five different covers for it. There's a regular cover. There's a regular price Phil Noto Marvel 80th Anniversary cover, regular price Scotty Young Baby cover, there's an incentive 1 in 25 Michael Cho variant, and an incentive 1 in 50 Lee Garbett variant. Conan the Barbarian number one. That's right, Conan is back, and I, for one, am happy that it's being written by Jason Aaron. Couldn't pick a better person to write this story. However, there are 16 covers shipping from Marvel. That's just Marvel alone. There's a bunch of other store exclusive variants out there. I'm not going to bore you by sitting here and naming them all, but I will show them up on the screen.
Immortal Hulk number 11. This is part one to Hulk in Hell. Everyone is in Hell. It's going to have a regular cover by Alex Ross. There's also a regular price Marvel 80th anniversary variant by Phil Noto. Although I'm a fan of Phil Noto, I'm sticking with the regular cover. Love the Alex Ross covers on these. And the Noto cover doesn't have much to do with the story, so I'm not going to pick it up. Infinity Wars Infinity number one. Solicitation just says what comes after an infinity. Not much to know about this title, not even the cover art revealed yet, but I'm anxious to see what it is, and I'm going to pick it up. It's got writer Jerry Dugan and artist Mark Bagley attached. Killmonger number three. This is titled Bullseye on the King. Killmonger is more than a chosen name. Eric learned the art of murder as a mere child trained in mercilessness by Ulysses Claw himself. But next to Bullseye, the King's Pen right hand killer, the plague of Daredevil, the deadliest assassin in New York City, Killmonger is nothing but a lamb up for slaughter. Man Without Fear number one. This is part of a five issue miniseries. In issue number one, Foggy Nelson's gonna find out what it means to live in a world without the Daredevil. They have a regular cover by Kyle Hotz. There's a regular price connecting variant by Giuseppe Comicoli, and a 1 in 25 incentive variant by Koi Fam. Marvel Knights 20th number 5. The Knights have gathered at the tower, the evil king and his pawn have been toppled, and the army of the Forgotten has been vanquished. But there's yet one dragon to be faced before the truth can be revealed. We have a regular cover by Jeff Shaw, there's a regular price connecting variant by Carrie Andrews, and a 1 in 25 incentive variant by Jay Lee. Normally I'd say go with the Jay Lee cover, but I'm not too impressed with it, so I'm going to pick up the regular cover, although my favorite is the Carrie Andrews connecting, but I haven't been picking up the other connecting variants, so it's not going to do me much good. Tony Stark Iron Man number 7. This is Stark Realities part 2. We have a regular cover by Alexander Lozano. There's also a regular priced Uncanny X-Men variant. I haven't really been reading this story, I just really love the regular cover by Alexander Lozano, so I, that's why I have it in this video. Uncanny X-Men number 8. The weekly series continues. This is going to have four different covers for it. There's a regular Giuseppe Comicoli cover. There's a regular price John Tyler Christopher action figure variant. Regular price David Marquez Guardians of the Galaxy variant. And a regular price Dale Keown Conan vs. Marvel Villains variant. Winter Soldier number 2. As Bucky works to help others find the redemption that he found, Hydra takes issue with his new initiative and sends a young killer to rectify the situation. Introducing RJ, a teenage assassin extraordinaire who's been sent to kill the man he's been modeled after, the Winter Soldier. Wolverine Long Night number one, that's right, Marvel's hit scripted podcast comes to life in the comic form. Following a string of mysterious deaths in Burns, Alaska, Special Agents Sally Pierce and Tad Marshall arrive to investigate. They soon find there's more going on than meets the eye. We have a regular cover by Raphael Albuquerque. There's also one in 25 incentive variant by Gabrielle Walton. Archie 1941 number 4. Archie's heading into action while the world watches and waits. Meanwhile, times are tough at home in Riverdale while shortages are leading to impending rations. Tensions are mounting. However, despite an uncertain future, unexpected relationships begin to form. This has three different covers for it. There's a regular Peter Krause cover. There's a regular price John Lamb variant. And a regular price Corey Smith and Rosario Tito Pena variant. I like the regular cover, so that's one I'll be picking up. Knights of the Golden Sun number two. Issue one was fantastic, story's great, interior art is phenomenal. In this issue, Archangels Michael and Raphael have gone missing, and now it's up to Archangels Gabriel and Uriel to rescue them from their captors. So there it is, those are my picks for new comics that are coming out Wednesday, January 2nd, 2019. First weekend of January, a bunch of great comics coming out. A lot of Conan covers, of course. Comment down below, let me know what books you guys are picking up, let me know what books I missed off this video that you guys like. This is Brian with Superman's Comics and collaboration with comicbookinvest.com, and I'll see you guys next week.